Long ago, a wanderer brought an enthralling gift to the people of Embervale. The elixir. It was a cure, a blessing, a weapon. Once concealed by the ancients, its might had been set free. With it came power, mistrust, and a longing for more. Humanity dug the elixir wells, ripping apart the land and each other to quench their thirst. Elixir and blood, a drop for a drop. But from the depths of the wells, an unforeseen curse crept into Ember Vale. The shroud, a ruinous fog which sought only to spread and devour. Facing their downfall, ancients and humans united to forge the Flameborn. Now, your time has come. Awake. Welcome everyone, this is Dreyas, trying to get back at it with uh, Enshrouded. I've already played this game a pretty good bit, so I'm going to kind of rush through this first area, because I'm sure everybody's seen other people play it as well. I know it's been a good while. Uh, I'm going to try to start recording this at least, maybe other stuff, we'll just have to see. Been busy, enjoying life, loving it, and uh... But yeah, it's good to get back, try to get back to recording. And I uh, appreciate uh, those of you that's hung around keeping an eye out for my return. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. Vast world awaits you, filled with secrets and peril. Press I and navigate to the map to track your discoveries. Alright, well, we got a lot of hotkeys, but click on here for the map which is world all right plans for a first base on the flames and its murmurs pure light engulfs the knowledge of the ancient breed protects it in one flaming core or in a flaming core wisdom far beyond my own imagination could stare into the fire for hours seeking answers a whisper but I hear none despite Possessing a voice, it only speaks to those born from the flame. A shame, as I believe we could have quite enlightened conversations. Baltazar. Alright. Go down here and pick up these little explosives. And we'll Blow a hole in there, hopefully big enough I can get through. Don't want to waste them. Ode to Pipe Mead. Gather round, we're drinking. An ode to the queen once young. Three babes on her arm filled to the brim. Thinking out loud, she sung. Rather mead in my cup or my cup filled with rum. Drink too much rather than be done. Can't only have some, so share some around. Drink too much rather than drink one. Rather meet in my head, and my head on the run, and my head on a pike with none. Get the rum and the mead, get the mead and the cup. Get the cup to your head, drink up. All right, uh, somebody enjoyed their rum, evidently. What we got here, we got us a hatchet. Alright, let's see. B will open up your belt. Let's rearrange stuff. I don't want them bombs just right there. Uh, I'm going to put my torch down there for now. And, uh, 
Oh, I may have to blow a hole out. Oh, I made it. Alright, let's see, I think... Yeah. And another torch and a bandage. Again, I want the bandages right there. Seems how we do have two torches. Let's just put one up here. Alright. Oh, I'm moving. The flame allows you to resist the shroud, but if you linger, you will perish. Escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud. Look at another torch. I don't think there's anything behind there actually, no. Press tab to lock onto your foes. Control to tar to dodge out of the late storm. Yeah. Back here and get my loot I left. Alright, got some more bandages, runes, and some cloth. Get our torch back up so it's easier to see. Now, this stuff you can break. Sometimes you'll get stuff out of it. That metal scrap comes in handy, and by picking up metal scrap, we learned how to craft lock picks. And a shield, picking up wood, I assume. Alright. If you fall, you will rise again at your last return beacon. Beacon. Alright. Berries. Bees, sometimes the bees come after you. They don't appreciate you taking their stuffs. Let's pick up some bushes real quick. Let's see some corn over there. Pick up a rock. There's a mushroom. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Wolfie. Come here, Wolfie. What was that? Well, I guess the wolf got the best of that little fella. I hear another wolf. He hears me. think when it comes to skill points I don't know I might go down the fighter tree or my game I'm kind of going down uh, the ranger tree which I really like but I may try the fighter tree here just to check it out alright we gotta claim a spot for a base so I'm gonna hit B to go into craft and we need uh, to read that you can quickly navigate Different categories for selecting these icons. Okay. Here you find the requirements and ingredients for each recipe. We need stone. You can pin recipes to get a notification once you have collected enough ingredients to craft the pinned recipe. Oh. Next. F down there. Okay. We've got enough, so let's craft that up. And. This is some other hot bar. Yep. So let's see where we want to put it. Uh, I don't want get out of that. That tree will be in it. 
Let's go with that. And let's come in. You're not alone. There are other survivors drowsing in nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid in your journey. Go gently. One beckons nearby, just outside the shroud's grass. All right. So we can upgrade this altar. We need shroud cores for that, which we don't have, obviously. We don't have any of this stuff. And then you can strengthen it. This will increase your time in the shroud. And you can build different multiple bases. Right now, we can build two. If we upgrade it, we can build four in different locations and fast travel to them. And we can reset our skill points fairly cheaply. Alright. Uh, they want us to travel through the shroud and find that sleeping survivor, but first we're going to kind of get us some base stuff going. What we want to do is a workbench next. So we need string, which is fiber. Wood. I probably got enough fiber. Let's go ahead and make a few of these. No, we'll just make up all we got there. And we need wood logs. Uh, probably can just get that just from this stuff. You know what? Probably not. Uh, let's go up here and break some barrels or something. Got some little axe here. We'll get this stuff. Probably get some wood logs. Water. Oh. this out all right well we got a skill point and H is the hot key to get directly to that oh uh, yeah, we can go down barbarian what is this perform a merciless attack by pressing E to deal massive damage to an enemy you've overpowered oh Overpower an enemy, fill their stun bar by attacking while they block or parry. I kind of like that. I don't know if I want to tanky tanky, but let's see. I guess I could just start down my way, go to get double jump, endurance, stamina is fun. Let's just start on our way to double jump. I want to start off with that. I haven't got it in my other game yet. I kind of want to play around with that. We can reset those skill points. Let's go ahead and explore a little bit of this before we get started building. Some whales. You can get you some water. Let's get quite a few. Kind of move stuff around. Get. Right. That'll work for now. Here, just pick up. There's a health potion. I'm right, gonna put that down here. That's where I'm used to having it. Mushroom, some meats, some more meats. 
water. A good night's rest, finally, a break from the tedious work. My bones are sore, but the warmth of a fire, a little shelter and some sleep should allow me to become well rested. Food is getting scarce. I hear they're planning an expedition. Thankfully, I hid some rations below my bed. They will make for a nice meal when cooked over fire. Alright. Well, we done picked up his food, so... We can just come over here. Oh! Do that! Guess, uh... <laughs> check your surroundings before... Trying to cook your next meal. All right, and the fire went out because I probably hit it. Interact with campfires and food. Sit near them with X to become west rested in the wild. All right, well, that campfire is gone. Uh, campfire, good logs. We get plenty. We'll just uh. Just make us a nerdin'. Where'd it go? Right there. Sure. Campfire. Try this one more time. Alright. Place food in your action bar. Select it and press left mouse button to cook. Alright. Gotta hold it. Then you release when it's done. And then we'll just do the next one. So the raw meat kind of hurts you. Or your stamina and stuff. When you cook it, it buffs you. We'll look at it in a second. I think that's where all the raw. Uh, yeah, grill the corn. Grill corn's actually pretty good. see what we got here we got grilled corn we got some meat I'm gonna leave my berries up there we got honey mushrooms uh, buff potion all right so the grilled wolf meat gives you two constitution for 20 minutes uh, the corn gives you two strength for 20 minutes mushroom gives you two intelligence for 20 minutes uh, this one it's cooked. I think when it's not cooked, it's like one in ten minutes, one in ten minutes, and the meat just uh it's not very good at all. And, uh when raw, obviously. Alright, let's look in here real quick. There's a secret door. I'm gonna stand out. metal didn't mean to shut that door All right, we got us some arrows falling to ruin we held out hope digging through the rubble our lips whispering prayers to the ancients, always a watchful eye towards the horizon. Even in this furthest corner of the world, the shroud threatens to engulf us and seal away any ray of hope. As the air grew thick with that cursed fog, we held on. As fires raged on the horizon, ash falling like snow on Highland Pike, we pushed harder. May this home, long kept, usher us into the bright age. Don't see any bright ages around here, but I don't know if I can make that jump. Probably not. Oh, I can.
bandages. There's where I want to go. Don't leave my side. Jasmina, is it true? The ancients call upon you to stay behind as the rest of us slumber. Will you be there when I wake? Please, you cannot leave my side. You're my all. Why must, why must we change? I miss the old days when we used to travel together, side by side. Let me linger next to you. You held my hand. And now? All this secrecy for what? I thought you could confide in me. I don't want the ancients to drive us apart. I'll lose all faith. If you must go, at least give me a farewell kiss. All my heart, E. E. It's dark time. I need to find a bed. Alright, well, let's get back on track unless one of these tents has a bed. I see something glowing in here, though. Captain's Journal, Day 1. Hold the chamber to your last breath. These were the words of the Ancient One before he entered with a handful of our best warriors. It was the first time I'd seen one of his kind, and I expect it will be the last. His face is burned into my mind. My life and those of my remaining soldiers are pledged to this sacred duty. Captain Arkwright. Uh, understands. Scrap metal off of that, maybe. Is that water? Nope, we'll scrap metal off of that. Is there a bed in here? There is. Alright, let's uh, get some daylight going. Night speed times 60. I think I see the dong. Get that string. Alright, let's get back. Ouch. These little purple berries give you some health regen for about 30 seconds. If you cook them, they give you like less regen but for like a longer period of time all right so we need a workbench we're gonna need a construction hammer and we're gonna need a pickaxe axe let's go ahead and make a, a couple of lock picks and i'm not gonna make a shield yet I don't even think I'm gonna make a bow yet. I'll just wait till I find one. I will make a shirt. What do I need? Two string and two more strings, so four string total. Got just enough for that. So boots and this legs. Alright, about filled my inventory up. Equip, equip, and equip. And these are useless now. Let's, uh, we'll set this bench over here for now. R rotate at 90 degrees. Right, craft. Get some stone blocks. <laughs> Can't do many. Alright. There's 
stone hammer right here for now. Uh, yeah, I want my Put the pick and the axe up here for now. It'll be alright. Let's go into construction mode with a hammer. Select the shape you want to build with. Select the material you want to build with. Open the sub menu to select from different shape categories. Right, this can be a little confusing at once. I mean, at first. But. Basically, you can hold down control and roll your mouse wheel to switch through your different materials. Only got the one material, so don't really matter now. You can hold down Alt and go through your different categories with the mouse wheel. So right now, I want four meter, which is basically, you know, size it. It's right there. Then, after you get that bar selected, then you use your mouse for to move over. You can do the thick foundations that go in the ground, but they're like 256 each. I just use the thin one, which is 64 each. And uh, that's all we got room for right now. But you can come over here and you can pick it up and hold it down E if you like. And move it back over here. I'm not gonna need the hammer. No. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna need to see what we need to make some storage. I'm gonna need string and twigs. Alright, so I'm gonna gather up some resources and then uh, we'll come back. Alright. Alright, I'm back. I've got a few twigs and a a little bit of a uh, string, went ahead and made some string, but we're gonna build us a couple more chests. I don't think I got room to build much. Let's see, I had to put that one down. Just kind of put it right here for now. Let's see, I think I can build one more. Yeah, gotta get us started. You can stack these like too high, I think. And these are pretty tiny. <laughs> but you can kind of get some of this stuff out of our inventory. Torn cloth. And yeah, we we'll put the metal scraps up for now. I'm going to keep the twigs on me, the mushrooms I don't need. And let's uh, focus on getting some of this food out of the inventory. For now let's put... We'll save the good meat for later. I'll save that for later. That potion for later. I'll pick that up later. Berries. Oh, oops. Really don't need all these torches. There are a dime a dozen resin we'll need later. a little hard to get into. There it goes. Keep the lock pick on me. We'll put the I want to keep the hammer on me. Stone I want to keep on me. Wood I want to keep on me. Twig. Building blocks obviously. Picks. I'll keep on me. Alright. And let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, I want to hard form up some more stone. And uh, then we'll come back and get us a little house built. And then we'll uh, go get our, our sleeping companion that they want us to go find. Alright, my honey run out. And I've got like 209 stone. But let's craft up a bunch of blocks. Like a lot. A whole lot. Yes. Bunches. Like thousands. There we go. That our last uh, minute. 
All right, tab to get in there. Still got a little thing selected. Let's see. All right, now we want to get into. We're gonna want doorways. On the window here. We'll take that. Maybe get it out that way. change this stuff up later yeah let's go ahead and well, that's right I know I left a couple of chests over there I'll get them eventually I just want to go ahead and get the uh, the blacksmith as soon as possible just some water going. Captain's Journal, Day 6. The raiders have besieged us these past two days, attacking from the bridge. Their eyes, such madness. We have withheld so far, but only just. We may not survive the next assault. I've ordered to rig the pass with our last munitions. If those scavengers return, we are prepared. Captain Arkwright. Prepared with a bandage. There you go. That's the way to go right there. Uh, probably should have... I guess it's, my axe is pretty pre prepared. Right. Another torch. Captain's Journal, Day 20. We are hungry. We had to destroy the bridge, and with it, our connection to supplies. But it worked. We haven't seen any more scavengers. The cinder vault and those within are safe, and should remain so. If we are to avoid starvation, we may have to take our chances in the horrible shroud. Either choice is certain death. Captain Arkwright. Right. See this here? This is usually metal scraps. These little buckets. You can break the damn thing. Line. We've been getting metal scrap out of more we got Another bandage. Okay. Alright. These guys, if you get up in their business hard and heavy out the gate, you usually kind of keep them at bay. These early on ones, anyway. Now this here, these are scrap. Oh, shit. Did I just lie? Oh, I got ten men. No, that's shroud wood. Hmm. I've been getting metal scrap out of them every time. Oh well. Skip that. We'll go ahead and take this. This will refill my my shroud to shroud shroud. Or we need to go up there, but I kind of want to clean some of this place out. 
There's two of them. They're nasty too. care for but never do loads of ball mysterious flask the elixir a flood of woe it's a formula I do not quite grasp sophisticated beyond imagination I'm not surprised to know that the source of this recipe is otherworldly Created from the flesh of these tiny, delicate fungi growing deep beneath the earth, it grants power. Yet when I look at this flask, worry fills my heart. This will never be a cure. This will always be a weapon. Perhaps the ancients wanted to hide this for a reason. Baltazar. Let's see. Mistaken. Need to heal up. All food slots occupied. Why do I need a food slot to eat? Oh, I'm full. Okay, I get it. Just use a bandage. What'd that say? Oh, dismantle. Yeah, you can dismantle them books to make stuff later on. I think books for decoration. Frickin' rats can be nasty. Especially in the dark recesses of hell. More explosives. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, interesting. I don't think I noticed this before. Star Mace is probably going to be a two handed weapon if I had to guess. While wow, my inventory is filling up already. Get up out of here and it's dark time. Can I see a bed somewhere? A broken one. He'll walk the other way. Doesn't seem like he wants to, does he? Okay, well, we just do that. Boy, they like your explosive balls, don't they? <laughs> Pretty sure there's another guy up here. Should have made me up. There he is. There's two. Up. 
I don't think this hides me. Oh well. I can't even see him right now. Oh, there he is over by that barrel. Smash in there. Alright. What's in here? Oh. A bow. <laughs> Let's see. Let's put that there. And oh, let's equip that. Ten arrows. Got thirteen flint arrows. We'll make arrows if I need to. The cold reception. We arrived at Rookmore. Finally. Out of the shrouded lands, it was a difficult journey from the mountains. I'd hoped for a field hospital here, but there's almost nothing. I must take matters into my own hands, as I did at the front. I'll set up camp in Woodguard. Uh, not sure who. Nobody signed that one. There's an explosive. Watch him do, Bongo. Those are always. Wood. Resin. Get rid of the night. Ish. Right. Let's check out this house up here. Pretty sure there's nothing behind there. I think he hears me. Did you fall in the hole? Oh. You hurt me. Still alive. Yes. Big hole. Get down in here. Lots of wood.
Here's somebody. They coming up. Or is he up there already? Killed the guy up here, didn't I? Yep. I think he's down in the crypt. Let's use one of these. Somebody down here. Beat his ass into a wall. Let's get you. down here or not. Powerball. Repair equipment. That works. This a two-handed axe mace or one-handed? Oh, that's one-handed. Shit. Well, excuse me. 11, 14? Yeah. We'll go with the uh, Fourteen. All right. Let's uh get out of here and go get our blacksmith friend. Oh. <laughs> Sucks as you live here, and I knew that was there. That metal scrap. That's what the doctor ordered. Little critter. He's coming to get me. Inventory look. I got a few slots left. Let's see. I think be a little sneaky here. Maybe. Bushes can conceal you. I think somebody's done seen me though. Oh, freaking bees, really? Bees saw me in the bush. Oh, he saw me too. All of them saw me. Beat the stone up too, didn't I? Kinda. Not so much for being sneaky. I was gonna sneak up here and blow up a barrel or something. Oh. Thought I was looting this. Another failure. 
The cinder vessel broke down during testing. The red I used inside was charred by the coalescent flame. A bright flash, then nothing. Thankfully, the side effects of blindness was only temporary. I've acquired a new subject, another rat, Igni. Hopefully our path to salvation. I cannot accept more setbacks. I will ensure that the cinder vessel holds as if my life depended on it. It may well. Bandages seem to be using them. Eureka! By the ancients, I've done it. Equilibrium. The subject sleeps yet can be awakened. They are dead yet alive. The subject does not decay, is untouched by the coarse flow of time. A flame soul in a mortal body. Igni serves as proof. We can survive, we can endure. These cinder vessels will be our only chance amid the shroud. We have no other choice, Baltazar. All right. Okay. Up down. All right. Let's uh, stick our head in here and see. I think I see somebody back there, don't I? And hit the door. Oh, out of arrows. <laughs> All right. Breaking Survivor. Oswald Anders the Blacksmith. Unlock recipe for summoning staff. All right. So we got a secret door back here. Charcoal at the kiln. Masterful mace. That one looked two handed. And what we got here? Venture forth. It's done. The cinder vessel is a delicate contraption, still volatile yet brimming with potential and hope. The first human ever, the first human to enter will be our true prototype, the kindling of a new spark. Thankfully, the blacksmith volunteered. He must enter the vessel and sleep until aroused anew lest he slips into eternity. May the ashes of one age sustain the seeds of the next. Balthazar. Alright. Well, we got that. When you need to rest, you can fast travel back home by opening your map. Use an M. Navigate to the map. Select your home. I knew that. These things usually give random stuffs. Ball and water. Uh, more water. Need more of these. Grab them while we're here if we got room. Water probably. Seems like the more challenging the location you're in, the better stuff you get out of them. This being early level we're just getting water and stuff so it's not really worth the trouble I do want to check this tower over here or this not tower but rubble I don't think there's anything here well there's not all right so let's travel back to our home home in the dark recesses all right oh, we gotta make a summoning staff but first we're gonna have to uh let's commune with this the survivor will be a worthy addition to our cause place them in the world with a summoning staff which you can craft from simple twigs all right so uh let's get to our little 
chest out here. So those of you that's playing that don't know, or if you do play, you can click this little button here and you can deposit stacks from your inventory into here that match, or you can go backwards or you can deposit all or take all. So kind of stack like items that way. And later on, when you unlock the right companion, uh, you'll also be able to build chests that have storage broadcasting that will allow you to not have to take items out of your chest to craft with them. You'll be able to just craft directly from your chest. Right now, I'm just going to throw some of this stuff in here. Shouldn't have took those with me. Uh, put that up. Bones. I need the twigs for the staff. And it won't... I don't think it takes it from your hot bar when you do the... Uh, yeah, it didn't take that from my hot bar and put it in there. It only takes it from up here. I have to put that in manually. Or move it to your regular space. Alright, so let's build a summoning staff. And with that. Uh, did it drop on my hot bar? It did. And you hit tab. Oswald's the only one we got. Come over here and you can hit. I don't know if you can rotate him or not. I'm not sure what snapping does with him. Okay, so he kind of turns a little. Hey! Put him right there. I think I'm just going to line him up across the wall. Uh, you can move him around, though. What is it this time? What is it this time? Crafting first gear. Huh? Took you long enough to find me. Look at you, weak and puny, and they call you Flameborn. First thing you need is a weapon. Lucky you woke me up first. Crafting a scrappy sword or spike club will serve us well. Cleansing ah. fire. Embervale can still be saved. Where there's ash, there's embers, kid. The shroud suffocates the valley, so seek the elixir well with your new gear and raise the root of our misery. Ignite the depths and set this evil ablaze. Go on. I'm counting on you, Flameborn. Well rested. <laughs> Even with new gear, you shouldn't feel too safe out there. Rest up and eat well before you head out. A fire, a roof over your head, and some meat in your belly will prepare you for anything. Right, let's see what he has to craft. So with him, now we can craft a forge, a charcoal kiln... Nails, which is probably used in making some of this stuff. That. A better axe, which we will definitely make. Better pickaxe, we'll definitely make. We need lock picks. Uh, we can make, uh, looks like a better club. Oh. Yeah, this has got a two out to the right. Right. Do a club. And up here, you can switch between. If there's numbers here, that means there's different variations or different things you can craft under that set. Just like the armor here, we could craft this for armor. Right there. Decorative. This is just stuff you want to decorate your place. Yep. And in manual crafting, that's just like you're without, like if you wouldn't at a altar. And also enhance equipment. All upgraded items from your backpack and action bar are listed here. Enhancing an item unlocks new perks. Each perk called perk costs runes. Gather runes by salvaging weapons and other equipment. So right now, we could upgrade this one time. Uh, the hatchet we could upgrade once. Or we could upgrade this base here. Now I think this masterful mace is a two-handed weapon. And the metal star mace is the one handed. I don't like the two handed because they're so slow. Uh, of course, the bow. This is backstab damage. So, let's upgrade this one. I put the things up. I'll grab them and uh, that way you can kind of see what that's all about. If you hadn't already, let's go ahead and do this. You have awakened your kin, the flame is pleased. Seek out more survivors slumbering in the Springlands. Alright. Let's see, where did we put that stuff? 
Uh, we don't have enough, but we may. Let's just see. Oh, not that. <laughs> It'll be uh, right click on them and salvage. Uh, I got anything else I want to salvage? I don't need two torches. I don't think I put anything in here, did I? Do want to put? Uh, did I put the summoning staff up already? Oh. What do I do with my summoning staff? Oh well. Who knows? Uh, but we don't need this hatchet anymore. We'll get that seven. Enhance equipment and we'll enhance. Takes 12, we got 19. The knight does 16 damage. A little bit better. Oh, oh, there's our summoning staff. <laughs> Anywho, we're gonna leave this episode right here and uh, may uh, work on gathering this stuff off camera. And get some more resources. Sources may change the building up a little bit. May build it more, a bit more. But uh, we'll see you when we uh, come back. I appreciate you watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.